what makes someone a hero for us a hero is one who has the strength to persevere and endure ceaseless obstacles we are in actor sansraj and these are our heroes over a billion people across the world suffer from severe mental or physical disabilities The specially able community continues to strive for an equitable status that restricts them from attaining dignity and self-reliance even in the 21st century India. As the race goes on, for how long should this community feel neglected? For how long should they fend for themselves in a society that keeps excluding them? With an unending path of struggle and effort to be normal, the specially able often end up losing out on opportunities of growth and success. This is where Ehsaas steps in to turn disability into ability. India, a land harboring more than 30 million specially abled, is able to employ only 3.4 million out of it. This small success number is also the outcome of several similar-minded NGOs striving to empower the differently abled by helping them craft a range of products. This is where we join hands to supplement the efforts of these NGOs by providing adequate training, improved product design and sales and marketing platform thus encouraging entrepreneurship and self-reliance. In order to ensure a steady flow of revenue for entrepreneurs, the products are sold through both B2B and B2C channels. By establishing a WhatsApp business, we were able to successfully generate a sales revenue of rupees 68,500 over a period of 9 months. Our marketing strategies also include setting up stalls and exhibitions around the NCR region as well as promotions on social media platforms. So far, we have collaborated with four partner NGOs and readily marketed over 20 plus categories of products. Seeking a brighter future, we intend to onboard numerous NGOs making various products across India as well as expand into the corporate gifting sector. The hospitality industry in India accounts for 8% of the total employment in the country. Sadly, it is still said to be inaccessible to the differently abled community. To drive the path for change, Inactus Hansraj collaborated with Alina Alam, the founder and CEO of Mitti Cafe, an established chain of cafes that are completely managed by the specially able. Seeing this as an opportunity to foster impact, we plan to establish a Mitti Cafe in Hansraj College, joining a total of 16 cafe chains across India. The cafe will offer in-house training to the specially able, as a result enhancing their hospitality and culinary skills, paving the path for employment in this sector. Building the tracks on the principles of dual impact we would also provide nutritious food to the consumers while feeding the surplus to the needy as our country's pollution levels continue to rise the necessity for an alternative to our obsolete transportation system was addressed by e vehicles releasing zero tailpipe emissions but how often have you seen a specially able person driving in a society a society that blatantly undermines their potential our initiative bridges the gap between increasing vehicular emissions and the stigma surrounding the driving potential of the specially able community This is achieved by collaborating with NGOs, identifying and training the community of differently abled entrepreneurs to make them proficient at driving. We further assist in the procurement of EVs which are lightweight and easy to operate. While engaging in pick-up and drop services, our drives also undertake delivery for tiffin services and products manufactured by local businesses, startups and e-commerce platforms. Moreover, we also collaborated with the government of Delhi under the Switch Delhi campaign to promote eco-friendly driving. Not stopping here, we intend to broaden our impact by recruiting additional drivers throughout the capital, thereby providing the necessary aid in establishing a network of financially secure and self-reliant differently able drivers. This venture, although still in its nascent stage, has so far provided employment to two entrepreneurs, helping them earn a revenue of rupees twenty-eight thousand. Our multifarious efforts have impacted 254 directly and more than 5100 people indirectly. Our endeavor has further helped generate a revenue of rupees 96500. The Mitti Cafe aims to empower 35 individuals with 5 permanent employees and rest as rotating members who will be trained and placed at other cafes, helping them earn a projected revenue of rupees 7 lakh 10000 by the end of the year. Our verticals all together have contributed to a five times increase in sales of partner NGOs while also reducing 394 kg of carbon emissions through the delivery services. Project Ehsaas has successfully helped us assure self-reliance and dignity to make this world inclusive for me, for you and for us. The planet where nature has been a backbone, a backbone to millions and a life to even more than that. Wail to ash to once is your skies. Cry unheard over the deafening engines that promised progress but delivered ecological distress. India, a land which believes in paving the way, is not only known for its rich culture and diversity, but also for its millions of farmers cultivating the true riches of the nation. However, even in the 21st century, India 
an age-old dilemma plagues the modern farmer to burn or not to burn. 44% of our air pollution can be attributed to stubble burning, the practice of intentionally setting fire to stubble, a byproduct of harvesting. With an AQI 11.5 times higher than the WHO prescribed standards, last year alone, this poisonous cloud of smog caused more than 54,000 premature deaths in the Indian capital. In this era of rapid awareness but standard execution, how long will it just be the problem sustained? The pursuit to devise sustainability with the welfare of our beneficiaries drove us to pause and initiate Project Vriddhi, an endeavor conceptualized to utilize stubble in relatively prolific ways. Our During our visits to farms in Haryana and the outskirts of Delhi, we witnessed one of the major issues plaguing the deprived sections of our society, what the WHO proclaims to be the riskiest sanitation practice of all the practice of open defecation. In a country of 1.3 billion people, 15% still defecate out and open. Due to lack of sanitation facilities and their unwillingness to change old habits, contribute to an estimated 4,32,000 deaths annually. After an immense amount of research and 10 plus surveys, we came up with Nirman, owing to the emerging possibilities of utilizing stubble waste in another effective way. Our endeavor focuses on using lightweight, termite proof and fire retardant stubble based boards for construction to increase the durability of our washrooms. What started as a pilot in January 2020 in Arthala, a slum in Ghaziabad district of Uttar Pradesh and since led to the establishment of 13 stubble based washrooms at 5 locations across various regions of Delhi and CR creating a multifold impact. Owing to our relentless drive in conjunction with NGOs and government of Delhi, we have aided a diverse range of communities. Realizing the lack of sanitation facilities for women in one of our community prompted us to construct our first ever women-only washroom in model town New Delhi, fully equipped with its own sanitary napkin dispensers. Our latest washroom has been constructed with motor disability friendly handles as medical aid to address the needs of a home for leprosy and tuberculosis affected individuals. Nirman follows a multi-dimensional approach by providing employment for maintenance services and generating new income of more than Rs. 7,83,000 for our 17 beneficiaries involved in the construction of the washroom. Owing to our determination, we intend to build smart toilets including an RFID system to ensure hassle-free usage for our community and multi-chambered biodigesters in areas with inadequate water and sewage systems. The future of Nirman is boundless with a systematic plan to ensure the construction of 15 more washrooms in three states by the end of this year. Coal, a major source of fuel in boilers, accounted for over 40% growth in global CO2 emissions in 2021, reaching an all-time high of 15.3 billion tons of harmful substances, leading to global warming and climate change. Perturbed by the growing use of these polluting sources, our team took a resolve to develop sustainable alternatives and came up with Urja to produce stubble and cow dung logs. After immense on-ground prototyping, our team set up our first production unit in a farm in Rohini, Delhi. Bringing together stubble and cow dung in a ratio of 3 to 7, our logs offer a higher calorific value than traditional fuels, thus releasing less particulate matter and lower emissions. Moreover, the use of these cost-effective logs is not just limited to brick kilns and boilers, but also in crematoriums and hovels, offering an alternative to non-renewable wood logs, which perpetuates the problem of deforestation. Being staunch believers of financial independence, we have provided meaningful employment to four entrepreneurs under Ucha, helping them earn a monthly income of Rs. 30,000. With the name of setting up three more production units by March 2023, we wish to organize our entrepreneurs into self-help groups, facilitating financial independence. Daily utility items such as cups, mugs, bottles, etc. are often made from harmful materials such as plastic. Our initiative Shilpkari promotes a conscious lifestyle change and replacement of unsustainable items with eco-friendly alternatives while also tackling the problem of stubble burning. Manufacturing products from stubble is based on reusability. Hence, this can be transformed into functional aesthetic products that are affordable, eco-friendly and durable. 
Contrary to their plastic counterparts, our products come from and go back to the environment. To close the loop in a circular economy, we collaborated with five MSMEs located all over the country to curate a range of 20 diverse products ranging from cups to straws, helping ease the transition into a zero-waste sustainable lifestyle. Through our extensive marketing strategies, including the launch of social media campaigns and a dedicated online store, stalls and exhibitions, and curating hampers for corporate gifts, we have successfully generated a revenue of rupees 9 lakh 24,000. Our ever growing passion for change paved the way for Tapdeel, a venture based on the technique of cultivating mushrooms with the help of stubble manure. What started as an idea to support the struggling farmers of a small village named Harsala Kala soon turned out to be a huge success with the establishment of a farmer-producer organization which allows farmers to sell produce at competitive prices. The deal, now a self-sustaining venture, has been handed over to 240 farmers. Over the years, Project with D has been successful in mitigating pollution from stubble burning and continues to strive for its aim to impact many more lives. This implacable journey of clearing social stigmas and tackling natural dilemmas has so far impacted 980 plus lives directly and prevented over 940 tons of stubble from being burned. Preventing 1394 metric tons of emissions from being left behind we have directly made 249 plus entrepreneurs earning a revenue of more than to be 1.95 crores we have also featured in a documentary streaming on renowned ott platform mx player to see nine plus publication in vernacular newspapers like the indian express and appreciation from renowned personalities like mr raghav jadda with an unflinching zeal to bring about change project Riddhi has not only been recognized by organizations like walmart kpmg and health ministry of india but has also emerged as top two projects in race for climate action 2021 when all this comes together, planned in the shape of a better tomorrow. Through the windows of the kaleidoscope, we see hope and we see a world much better. We see Inakta Sansraj. In October 2012, we stepped up to fulfill our responsibility as global citizens. And 10 years down the line, we have successfully established 13 projects across 10 cities, fulfilling 15 SDGs. Our journey has been about nurturing relationships, transforming outlooks, and empowering lives. With this spirit in mind, we believe in entrepreneurship. We believe in action. And we believe in us. We are